My name is Leo Roark. I have the privilege of being the eighth president and vice chancellor of Trent University, and I'm delighted to be here to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates today. I now declare convocation open. In keeping with Trent tradition, I want to begin by respectful, respectfully acknowledging that we are on the treaty and traditional territory of the Michisagic Anishinaabe. We offer our gratitude to our First Peoples for their care for and teachings about our earth and our relations. May we honor those teachings always. I'm very pleased to welcome our graduates, their parents, families, spouses, partners, and friends to our ceremony today. I know that some of you come from close by, others from across Canada, and some from around the world. If you're here today, please consider yourself a part of the Trent family. I'm going to guess that uh, some of you are sort of like distant relatives to the Trent family, but we count distant relatives as part of the Trent family as well. I wanted to say something about the ceremony before we proceed. In one way, the convocation ceremony is a very serious ceremony. It's a formal ceremony that officially recognizes our graduates and their successful completion of their degrees. At the same time, I do want to say to the audience that a convocation is intended to be a celebration. It's a party. It's a party we are hosting to celebrate the successes of our students. If you are a parent, some of you may want to use it as a party to celebrate the fact that your son or daughter has finally completed their degree. With that in mind, I want, to, I want you to feel comfortable in this convocation. I give you permission to be loud, to applaud, to shout. Parents and family, feel free to embarrass your children if you want to. They like that. <laughs> you know, my thought today is that think of this as the pre-party for the Raptors party that you're going to have. <laughs> I would sum up the ceremony by saying it's all captured in the walk across the stage. Students start at one side as students of the university kind of in the middle and I'm told there's an X marks the spot here. Uh, they become graduates of the university and then they go to the other end of the stage where they're welcomed into the Trent alumni family. Graduates, as you leave the stage, I would ask you to remember that you're not leaving the Trent family, but rather extending your deep connections. You are joining a prestigious alumni family which includes famous authors, scientists, artists, religious and political leaders, as well as teachers, researchers, medical practitioners, and good citizens. I believe that Trent has prepared you well to join this exciting family. To our visitors, I will say that I hope you will feel the deep sense of community that's part of Trent. And I would like to now recognize some special guests who are with us here today. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll mention them and then I'd ask for a round of applause at the end. The Mayor of the City of Oshawa, His Worship, Dan Carter. You can stand up. Please. The City of Oshawa Councillor, Derek Giberson. Let's go with the applause every time. The City of Oshawa Councillor Rosemary McCockney. Rosemary. The very important members of Trent University's Board of Governors and the Trent Durham Advisory Committee, a number of them here today. And I'd like to issue a special welcome to Dr. Scott Henderson. Scott, you're here somewhere. I'll get you to stand. And, uh, Scott is the incoming Dean and Head 
of University at Durham GTA. At the very beginning of this ceremony, I would like to take a little bit of extra time to recognize the work of the person whose footsteps Scott will be following in, uh, following, stepping in. With that in mind, I would like to ask Joe Muldoon, he doesn't know this is going to happen, the head of Trent University Durham, to come and join me on stage. Joe? I will tell you, Joe is retiring after 35 years at the university. He's left quite a legacy. He's retiring to, to curl, to, go, to golf, uh, probably to drink a few beer, okay, and also to become a, a grandfather. Uh, he just last week had his first grandson uh, born. So, uh, Joe, I want to start by giving you a little something. This is from the President's house, uh, office, from Brenda, Gena, and I. Maybe you can just open it here to help you in your retirement. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm saying here, one of your jobs, Joe, yes, there's one more, hold it out so people can see it. One of your jobs, Joe, is to make sure that Henry joins us at Convocation about 20 years from now. Okay. But, but don't go, Joe. I did want to say something about what Joe has done specifically at the Durham campus, where he's been for the last six years. Since taking the leadership role here, he has grown the campus from 900 to 1,400 students. His work on programming and his community involvement in the region of Durham has positioned Trent in a wonderful way for continued growth in the short and long term. He's been instrumental in developing new important programs, communications and critical thinking, child and youth studies, masters in management, and policing and community well-being. He has also been a major uh, player who has helped us begin a new project in Durham which is a new $30 million residence and academic building, which will dramatically expand the campus. Today I have the privilege of announcing a special tribute to Joe, uh, one he doesn't know about, unless the secret got out. Uh, so what I would like to know is that in honor of Joe's contributions to Trent, we have established a new award, the Muldoon Award, which has been created to honor our graduating students. Starting in 2020, the top honor student and top general student with the highest academic average from the Durham GTA campus will receive this special award here at Convocation. This award, Joe, will ensure that your legacy lives on long after his retirement. Please join me in thanking Joe for everything he's done.